Hi, my name is Paula No, and this is Cross Curricular Connections, sponsored by EdgeSmart. Today's topic is soil. So I'm going to walk you through how I created a lesson making several cross curricular connections. Today we're going to make connections from science to social studies to social emotional learning as well as English language arts. Always start with a concept in mind. So today's concept is soil. So today the students need to be able to examine the properties of soil. They need to understand soil's ability to support plants as well as the importance of conservation of soil. I always start with strong visual literacy. EduSmart is famous for this. It's in every single piece of curriculum that they push out and in every single topic. So science rich with visual literacy, super important that you use colorful storytelling images, just as the one that I posted on this page. Next, look at the strong visual literacy and how it supports the vocabulary development inside of this piece of EduSmart work called Word Explorer. This one is over soil properties and experiments. Word Explorer combines the use of text, audio, and visual descriptions to ensure that the students understand and retain the words and their meanings. Next, I picked a, a demonstration or a lab simulation called Soil Properties. How much air is in there? This discusses the volume of air bubbles that are displaced by different soil types. That moves me right into making a prior connection to learning. Earlier in the year, you probably talked about the physical properties of matter. This is a great place to make a connection to the prior learning, talking about physical states of matter, such as solids, liquids, and gases. So I would pose this question to the students. Post one example of a piece of matter found in three different states inside of soil. Moving on, here's an instructional module by EduSmart called the Properties of Soil. Now, instructional modules uh, focus on different components that make up soil and the different properties, such as color, texture, and composition, and how they're used to identify soil types. It also investigates and determines which soil is best suited to grow tomato plants. So it's almost a two for one, talking about the physical properties of soil, um, as well as how they're used to grow plants. Next, we're gonna go right into a nonfiction reader that I found on the internet called Jump Into Science, Dirt. This is a fantastic nonfiction book that focuses on dirt, the different names for dirt, um, where it starts, how it's formed, what are the physical characteristics, as well as its importance to plant and animal life. Now let's move on to our social studies connection. So I found the primary source quote from FDR, the nation that destroys its soil destroys itself. Very powerful quote. And this is what I'm gonna do with it. I'm gonna use a literacy strategy using this primary source called Rethink, Write, Post, and Respond. So read the quote, the nation that destroys its soil destroys itself. Think about the things you've learned about soil. What does this quote mean to you? What was the author's purpose in making the quote? Now use the sentence stems below and create a quick write, and then make a posting to one of your classmates' writings. If you need help, always post sentence stems below. This has been a fantastic time. Thank you for letting me share my cross-curricular connections with you. Until next time, have a good one.